Today, a push for Arkansas to fall in line with other states that have passed hate crime legislation. The natural state is one of three states that doesn't have that law on the books. To send the right consistent message across our state and nation that hate should not be tolerated and individuals should not be targeted for who they are. As you saw there, Governor Hutchinson and other state leaders want that change. Jay Bird joining us now live with what that bill might look like. Jay. Yeah, Bob, many of those lawmakers gathering at the Capitol today, and as you mentioned, Arkansas, one of only three states in the country that don't have any type of hate crime law on the books. Well, those lawmakers that gather today are hoping to rally the General Assembly come the next session. We need to say clearly that Arkansas will not tolerate violence against anyone because of their race, their religion, or because of who they are. On Wednesday, lawmakers gathered at the Capitol to introduce a hate crimes bill that will be presented in the next general session. It has been tried before without any luck. But I'm not sure there's many more important challenges that we've taken on in Arkansas than what we need to do to pass hate crimes legislation. The bill itself lists several categories in which people can be targeted as a hate crime, but not all lawmakers are on board with the idea. It does offer protections for based on, you know, a whole a list of, of special classes. And I just don't think that that's really what we want to do as society. I think we should start treating everybody equally. State Representative Tippy McCullough points out that there has been a rise in hate crimes, especially amongst the LGBTQ community. Are we seeing these things that happen that this bill would address? The answer is yes. But Jerry Cox with Family Council, who has been an opponent of hate crime laws in the past, released a statement saying, hate crime laws do not work. There is no evidence that these laws in other states have ever prevented a crime. We all wish hatred could be stopped by just passing a law against it, but this simply isn't possible. Representative Frederick Love does believe that the enhanced sentencing will work. If we have the opportunity to deter people from acting on that hate, I think it is imperative we use the means of legislation. Lawmakers in support of this drafted bill say this is one thing that they don't want the state to be last in. And being one of only three, or even worse, the only state without these basic protections that the majority of Arkansans support sends a horrible message about who Arkansas is. Now, in that bill, it does carry a punishment that will be added on to any punishments handed in down. That'll be a 20% increase, whether it be prison time, probation, or any fines that come with any type of sentencing. Now, also, too, uh, if it is determined that anyone brings about a false, malicious, or groundless claim of a hate crime that can be charged with a Class C felony. We've got that entire bill up on our website, krk.com, if you want to read more. Live from the state capitol, Jay Burt, KRK, 4 News. Jay, thank you very much. As